Oh, nice. That lethal tent the lethal tempo plus my passive feels so good. Ready for battle. Alright, another gangplank matchup. Time to get poked down early game. Mid game should be much better though. Mid and late. I feel way more comfortable with Jax. At least compared to K Santi. Just gonna go for the minions here. It's a pretty worth counter strike. Oh, I was trying to bait it. I should live. Nice, we got the level up too. This guy's not running Ignite, so we can, uh, we can risk it. We can risk it for the biscuit, maybe. I don't want to jump on him, though, because I think we'll get baited by the fruit. A chance of that happening, sadly. Actually, you know what? We're gonna try to push. I think I can. Maybe he TP'd back. This is really good. Getting him chunked down before we TP back is super good. He fell for the bait. Refillable is going to be super nice in this land. Hey, welcome in, Philproof. Lethal tempo is crazy. Yeah, this feels much better than uh, K Santi and the Gangplank, guys. I'm liking this a lot better. Jax feels really nice in the GP, actually. And it's only going to get better for us. We have a wave coming in that we can always jump out to. I welcome you. I still get hit by the barrel damage, but we dodge out the uh, auto attack damage. All right, nice. We get a sheen boot here. That's a big power spike. That's a really big power spike. Imagine if we had a real weapon. Imagine if I had a real skin, dude. It's on. You know what's a really cool Jack skin is that, uh, what is it, like God King or something? Is it God King? That orange one? That's a really cool skin. Surprise! 
Uh, I should have auto queued. Whoops. Oh yeah, God Staff. That's what it is. I think that and his uh, Prestige skin are sick. Ooh, that was a nice. That was a nice combo. That's crazy, man. You just beat him down with autos. This is nice. This is real nice. Yes, yeah, so your ulti does like a good amount of burst damage now when you first activate it. Well, what's it doing? 150 right now? Around 150. I feel like getting tabbies just to run him down would be good right now. Because basically if we just stick to him, I can just keep jumping. Like, if he goes in range of my key right now, we just jump on him, pop E, and I'll win the trade every time, pretty much. And if I can just stick to him with my passive plus lethal tempo, it's just such consistent damage. This is going to be so good against uh, Belveth later, too. Jax is really good versus Belveth with the uh, Counter-Strike. We took a tower shot. That's what I want to do, though. Just little trades like that. Ideally outside a tower. Easy peasy, man. The damage output is so good. This is nice, man. This is like nicer than, than I thought it would be. We can get a Coalfield Kindle here. Another thing that's really good about Jax right now is the I feel like the items are crazy on him. You got Bork, you got Divine, you got Death Dance. All these items are so strong. Well, that Mordekaiser skin looks nice, the project. We're just going to keep doing the same play. If it works, man, there's no reason to change it up. That's kind of what Jax is. You just jump on people. I'd rather go for plates right now over that ward. We'll get that once the gangplank gets back. That sound is really satisfying. I saw somebody saying that in the chat.
We got a level 2 ulti. How much is that doing now? 250? And then every 3 autos we do an extra 120. But if I'm in my ulti, it's every 2 autos for that extra damage. Okay, this could be a little bit dicey. He has flash too, I believe. Goliath Maybe made him with a counter strike though. Probably not worth the risk though. We're a big shutdown right now. Shut down. Then again, Belveth bot lane. Let's see. He's gonna flash. Okay, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't have it. All right, we're not risking it anymore, dude. Playing with fire up here. I've been looking at some of the Challenger Jax players and I see a lot of them get like Zonia's fourth item now. Since he kind of skills with AP. I think they only do that when Zonia's is like really good for the match though. I don't it's think this odd. is too good of a Zonia's game. Well, I don't know. Zonia's is always kind of good, I guess. Turret plating will soon fall. It's just like there's no there's no big ability besides like a gangplank barrel, I guess, that we could Zonia's. Let me add him. I'll think about it once we get to that point. Yeah, everything except for your Q skills with AP. And I guess your passive, obviously. Ready for battle. This gangplank's not even going in my Q range now. I don't blame him. divine up bring it on oh my gosh that flash that flash by Belveth was good man I wasn't expecting her to be right there I had a feeling she was topside, but I wasn't ready for it. Like, I thought she was going to be on a camp and I would get the first jump. Sadly, we won't get the revive unless he kills the uh, Belveth here. I'll probably be spawned by them, though. Dang, this Belveth is scary. Gonna try to get tower here. Oh my gosh, class. be a little bit careful until we see Belveth. Because I actually don't think I can 1v2. It's on. Well, maybe I can. Definitely going to be close, though. that Morty was going to land. Oh well. I'm not losing too much topside right now. We got the wave pretty pushed. 
The Gangplank is playing mega safe at this point, so it's kind of kind of hard to force anything. Like he's literally giving up a cannon minion he doesn't want to push. Which is smart by him. An enemy has been slain. Okay, build that mid. I think Belveth is going to be up here. This guy's playing a little bit confident, it looks like. If he face checks here, we have our passive built up. I want to save my counter strike in case he face checks. You're pulling Jackson to Fiora? Oh man. I think as long as you don't get parried on your counter strike, it's actually. I think you can win that. Oh my gosh, nice. Okay, good time to go for tier two here. We can actually maybe go for the dive on him. Because Belveth is dead. Um, 50 plus 90. I don't know, the mana is really sketchy. Let's see what we can do. Okay, nice. We had just enough mana for full combo there. I did some quick calculations. I wasn't sure if I was correct on those calculations, though. That was my worry. But apparently we are we were, like, just correct on it. I think I'm okay here. Plus he has flash. We just can't let him proc phase rush. Thanks. 65 mana on that Q. An enemy has been slain. It's on. Does anyone know if Jack Z has always been 90 mana? That seems kind of pricey. They have a pretty kite heavy team. I'm kind of leaning towards a uh, Spear of Sojin for the movement speed. Surprise. That sounds pretty solid. I see a lot of Jax players go Spear of Sojin like third or fourth. And I think it's when they want the movement speed. They don't even need me for Dragon, do they? Destroyed a turret. Ready for battle. Back to the island we go. Two item jacks. Yeah, two item jacks feels insane. Honestly, one item jacks feels good with divine. Like, one item is power spike, and then two item is just, like, your build is pretty much done. That's how I feel with this champ. My counter strike's only seven second cooldown. Okay, that was dicey. We used our counter strike on the on the Krugs. I was expecting maybe Belveth, but not the rise as well. Gangplank is really far pushed up. Try to 
to keep our passive up here. Ooh. Don't want to jump under tower, though. Oh my gosh, my team completely bailed. I was going to jump back to my team. Ooh, we get a revive, though. Try not to do that. Nice, got the cannon. Okay, appreciate you, mashed potato. Have a good night, brother. Okay, is it just me or is my team kind of scared? Dear friends, please stop dying. Love this revive is so OP though. We don't even have death timers. <laughs> Honestly, probably gonna get bot lane though. That's not looking too good. Maybe a little bit ambitious by me, but I also feel like if we got a black shield, we could have done a lot more there. Oh wow, nice. Victory. Nice, solid Jax game, man.